Hi, this is Kim M. Clark. Thanks for joining me today. I had a word that I posted on YouTube and other social media venues, and that was from Second Chronicles 714. A lot of you had this similar word, so I feel encouraged that we all drink from the same fount. And that verse is, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, and seek my face from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and forgive their sins and restore or heal their land. Again, that's 2 Chronicles 7.14. The Lord also gave me Numbers 21, 6 through 9. And that one states, when the Lord sent venomous snakes out among them, they bit the people and many Israelites died. The people came to Moses and said, we have sinned when we spoke against the Lord and against you. Pray that the Lord will take the snakes away from us. So Moses prayed for the people. The Lord said to Moses, make a snake and put it on a pole. Anyone who's bitten can look at it and live. So Moses made a bronze snake and put it up on a pole. Then when anyone was bitten by a snake and looked at the bronze snake, they lived. Numbers 21, six through nine. And the Bible clearly indicates that that bronze snake was a reference to Christ. And we see that in John 3, 14 through 15. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up so that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. And I believe we as a nation are supposed to lift our gaze to the cross of Jesus Christ, to turn from our sins, to humble ourselves, to pray, to seek his face, and God's promise that he will hear from heaven. He will forgive our sins. And then he will heal and restore our land. Which is not only our nation, but the entire world. So that's my prayer now. As we are all just kind of struggling with this time. That we would turn from our sins. That we would repent. That we would humble ourselves. Seek his face. So I want to pray now for our nation. If you'd like to join me, I would really appreciate that. Dear Lord, I pray for us as a nation, as a world. I pray against this virus. Okay? I pray against the forces of evil. I pray, Lord, as we lift our gaze to you, our God, Lord, and Savior. We humble ourselves, pray, seek your face, and turn from our sins, whether it be pride or anger or unbelief or fear. Or, oh, there's so many, Lord, but you know them all. So we just submit them to you, Lord. And we pray, Lord, that you would hear from heaven. You would forgive our sins and you would restore and heal our land. Pray, Lord, you would heal those who have been affected, who are sick from this virus. You would heal them in Jesus' name. Those who have not been affected, that you would, Lord, protect them. Put a hedge of protection on them. This virus would infect and afflict us no longer. Now, as we look upon the cross and lift our gaze to you, Lord, that you would comfort us, draw near your people, remove the spirit of fear and give us your peace, the one that transcends all understanding. I pray this in Christ Jesus' name, amen. Again, I'm Kim Clark. I have a new devotional that's coming out. Actually, I'm pre-selling it right now. I think it's perfect for this time. It's short, 30 days, and they're little just, just snippets or nuggets just from the Lord just speaking sweet words to me that I've just incorporated with scripture that I think would really bless you. I'm having a pre-sale now. Go to my website. It's www.kimmclark.com backslash devo. Go there. You can pre-order pre a copy. And the great news is if you buy one right now in the pre-sale time, you can get another copy. So it's a buy one, get one to bless someone else. So this is a time of blessing. So I really pray that you'd be able to do that and that God would bless you and protect you. Take care and have a great day.